so I just got the floor in there. So I use the ratchet tie downs to um, basically bow the floor so that it'll come through this because these bits are too wide. Um, and yeah, they basically um, don't fit through very well. So um, yeah, we will weld these to the back and there you go, over there. And then basically sit them on the mounts and yeah, it'll be good to go. I just got uh, eight holes on each side. Um, this got them sort of as close to standard. Um, yeah, so we'll just spot weld those into the floor. So it's a beautiful day. We uh, got the floor in. It's, um, it's bolted in, um, in all the four corners over there and over there as well. The back bits are bolted in um, securely. The front ones are just sort of lightly in there. Um, it looks like there's probably going to be a bit of work shaping the uh, tunnel, but you know it'll, it'll just be joining, um, or hammering it up, cutting and hammering it up. Um, and I can see that it is also sort of touching in there, so wait for that to zoom, I'll focus, I mean. Yeah, so it's sort of, it's touching in there, so I'm gonna have to trim that just so that it can drop a little bit lower. <laughs> Looks like um, with the body drop, even though I'm gonna raise it, there's not really that much clearance in there and a bit of cancer from the uh, last video. So uh, in here, I'm just gonna mark some holes to drill um, in this bit uh, where the spot welds would have been. So we'll do that all along here. Uh, I mean, through there on those two layers and then up through there. And on the inside, I'm just gonna spot weld those. So we'll just um, strip all the metal off here. Uh, I mean, strip all the metal on the inside on the inside and then uh, spray it with copper coat and drill the holes, mark and drill the holes. And then we'll drop it down and I'll also clean that bit down there and we'll weld that, uh, that seam there and then line it all up and weld it together. So yeah, we're getting there. Lots of progress. Oh, and then also we'll cut the line down there and trim off any excess that we don't need. And, finish the welds and cross the top there. So we're making progress, we're getting there. Hopefully have it done by next weekend. I've seen it before in uh, some of the forums. Um, <laughs> you have to clearance the steering wheel shaft um, on the upper control arm. So just there in the white, we'll just have to put a little scallop around that. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to chop the steering shaft as well and put a couple of universal like flexi joints in there. So I just chuck the guards on. I've got that nice little wee <laughs> stance again of the body drop. So haven't quite finished it yet, but we've just got to um, make in the filler plates that go in between here and here. And then we just got to uh, join the lines up, join the, the body to the floor in there. And uh, kind of messed up, but I <laughs> miscalculated those. So all I'm gonna do is just chuck a plate in between them and just tack them to this side and then spot weld them on the other side. Or spot weld them on where those holes are and then spot weld them on the other side. I've got the seat back in steering wheel sort of in and then we're just looking at the position of the um, steering wheel so just started eating away at that I'll get a proper tool for that and then we'll figure out how to join the um, them together probably with some universal joints from the scrap yard
just got to fill up this bit now and connect that to there. She's just sitting on its own suspension at the moment. A female blocks on the back. Um, and just reset torsion up front. Gotta fix that cancer. that the column, the linkage from the column is um, hitting the torsion bar so it doesn't go low enough so I think it's not getting into second or first whatever um, so what we're going to do is the flat spots up here and the locking nut meets against that but um, if this could be on the other side so if it could be that way instead of that way and I just see that there's a little um, circlip in there that I can undo which I'll be able to pull it out and then I can flip this around and then it should be able to work. So we'll just give it a go and we'll see what happens. So once that uh, spring clips out, circlip, you can just push it out, flip it the other way and stick it back in. Uh, what side? That side's the fat side, so flat side facing inward. Just put some grease in it and then we'll put the dust cover back on. Okay, so you can see down there. Oh, that's not quite. Okay, so just down there is the third and fourth gear lever so it looks really close to the, um, the torsion bar but when I operate it it's up and it's fully down so that looks like it's good it's not touching the torsion bar like before but um it's pretty pretty close to the starter mode of solenoid right there but I think that's gonna work so Plenty of space in between. Um, so yeah, that's fully up, fully down. So we just have to figure out this here, which is um, this one here, which is first and second. Um, pretty sure. I ever since I went for a drive and broke the le the linkage, I've never been able to get it back into reverse. So I'm gonna have to figure that out too. So we got first, then second, then away and up, third, and away and down, fourth. Fourth, you're looking So just for reference, those are where they are sitting out there. Yeah, that's how far they sit out and I just marked them so I just adjusted that one just a little bit just a different angle yeah so it's cool uh, we just need to hook the radiator up uh, I'll just drill some new holes for it here's the cab sitting further down and connect the radiator hoses up some more fluid in it put the exhaust pipe back on and we'll drive it down with the with no door so the next issue is the throttle linkage. So let's try and just get a good shot here. So 
So this is probably where it should be, but because the cab has raised up a couple inches, it's missing it. So we need to either um, modify that to go up or just drill some new holes um, or shorten that that beam there so that it can um, yeah sit where it needs to be and function properly like that we'll just weld across there Kind of looks factory-ish. So we got this little um, fitting, a nipple, from the motorbike shop. You could probably get them from a bike shop, like a push bike shop. Um, just marked how much I'm going to cut off. And that's where this is going to terminate on, right on that point there, so that it'll sit bang on the middle of the um, accelerator pedal. So we'll just cut it and solder it, and it'll be good to go. I'll just cut it up here, further up, so I can get that little sleeve off. Oh. So we just um, modified this slightly, drilled the hole slightly bigger to about 2 mil. Um, I think the diameter of that is about 1.8. Uh, drilled it out to 1.8, snapped the drill bit, sharpened it, drilled it again. Still didn't fit through, but yeah, 2 mil fits perfect. So we'll just solder it now, cut this to suit, and then solder it. So we'll just um, splay those wires out and then solder it, and it should be good to go. all done it's all painted in 2k black it's pretty shiny so we're gonna paint the truck in 2k black instead of um instead of the raptor color it's almost like a mirror i just um bogged in these little bits so that they're nice for when i take a mold This is on clearance. They're usually about four or five hundred bucks. So it's the bottom. Oops. Yeah. So we're just gonna uh, <laughs> we're just going to chop the tanks off uh, the the um, radiator. So uh, once we're done that, we'll prepare it and get it ready to. Um, We'll prepare it and get it ready to weld up so uh, it's narrow enough to fit into the um, the rails, between the rails of the Hilux. So it's just chilling over there and we're going to use this bandsaw to cut it up. So yeah, basically just chop the ends off. It's all marked up. Uh, basically I'll just start off by cutting that off straight down there and then um, that part there, cut down there and then chop that on an angle. Same on this side, angle, preserve this, remount it here, angle, chop, chop, angle, remount this further in somewhere, and yeah, I'd like to put this on this side, but then that means I'm gonna have to move this one, so we'll just leave it on this side for now. So let's go. Weld that up. So that's 
that's what we've removed and we'll just do these chop off parts here cut them off and that off and that off there so let's go and don't worry um i'm gonna file all these get them nice and sweet um because when you use the grinder you actually get um impurities so you just file them away uh just clean them up really nice and then i'll give it a good blow out as well make sure that there's uh there's no stuff in there so yeah that's it first one done we'll just put some stuff in there and fill it up and then just like weld across really gently uh, so these are the bits here that I just made up. It took me a couple of goes to get it like absolutely perfect, but it's, yeah, it's ready to go. Extra bit of tank that chopped off. So I'll just run the other ones down the sides and leave that one to the last. Too bad, not the greatest welds, especially the ones on the bottom are quite tired now and I fucked those up. I uh, just gotta put this on the drain bung. It's got a little wing nut and the filler cap. We'll weld that on tomorrow. Should go that way. Yeah, I'll we'll just machine the that stuff off. So yeah, it's looking good. Um, can't wait to put it in. I'm gonna go trial it. But yeah, we still just got to put those brackets on the corner that will mount the whole thing. This was perished, so made some more. So we made these out of rubber. Um, I think they're roofing uh, rubber. So this was the laser cut one that I tested. And then also um, sandblasted and painted the door hinges as well. So that's what it looks like. Um, fit it on there. Um, just in case you're wondering, there is a narrow slot in the bottom. So the narrow one is the bottom, so that goes in that way. So, um, so that's what it looks like. It's quite clean. Stop the water from getting in, so that's good. Forgot to mention that, uh, Got some nice stainless steel hardware in there so um, they're better than the original ones some of you will probably be like oh keep the original ones but uh nah, i want stainless <laughs> so we've just finished fitting the door uh, i just got to put the glass back in and the scissor actuator um, so yeah it's just in, it's just in that black so it's it looks quite cool um can't wait to paint the rest of the truck black actually so we'll go with a bit of a two-tone. We'll paint the grill, the little grill down there, and the front grill a different color, and the, the front bumper will be like a darker gray. And then maybe, maybe there might be like a little banner and um, in wrap that says Hilux, just in the old school style. So yeah, that's about all I can show you for now. I just graduated. Uh, have to go and pick up my kids, who so they're going to spend a month with me. So. Probably not going to be able to do too much in this, but we will get there. We'll just keep persisting. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe.